In this video, I will demonstrate how I use this one light and an $8 modifier from IKEA to create these images. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So welcome once again to my small home studio. So for you guys who are not familiar with the channel, this is my relatively small shooting area. It's only about two meters wide and 3.5 meters deep. And as I said in my intro, I will use this one speed light and an $8 modifier that I got from IKEA to create the images that I showed you earlier. But what is this light that I'm gonna be using? This is my Sony F60RM. It is a battery operated speed light. However, you can always just use any speed light or light at your disposal. It should still work the same way. I have my Sony F60RM mounted on this one. This is the MagMod MagShoe. This is basically just a flash holder. One of actually one of my favorite flash accessories. Now, I have here a backdrop from Kate Backdrop. This is a five foot by seven foot hand painted backdrop. However, again, you don't need to use a backdrop like this. An ordinary white wall would work, but I just wanted to give a bit more texture. That's why I decided to use the hand painted backdrops. Now, what is that modifier that I'm talking about that I got from IKEA for only about $8? Well, you'll find out soon enough, but before that, let's talk about the camera and my camera settings. So the camera that I'm using is my Sony A7 Mark IV with a 50mm 1.4 GM lens. The reason why, oh sorry, 1.2 GM lens. Now the reason why I am shooting with a 50mm is because I'm shooting a half body portrait. And for me, with my small home studio, the 50mm is the perfect focal length for that particular shot. Now, everything that you are seeing is basically a live view of what my camera is seeing through the help of this one. This is a Thomas Ninja V, which basically records an HDMI signal coming from my camera. Hence, every single image that you are going to be seeing from here on end is straight out of the camera. Absolutely no editing will be done unless stated otherwise. But basically, my edited images I put at the very end of the video. Now, what are my settings? My flash or my camera is set at 1 over 250 f2.8 ISO 100. Why is that? Because take a look at this. The moment I turn off my flash trigger, by the way, my flash trigger is the Sony WRC1M, which controls my Sony F60RM remotely. And the nice thing about it is, look at this, when I press the button here in the back, I can actually control the power of my flash from the back of my camera. Makes it very simple. I don't need to touch this one anymore. But look at this one. When I turn off my flash trigger, basically everything's pitch black. In other words, the settings that I dialed in through my exposure, my aperture, and ISO removed all existing ambient light. And by doing so, every light that you will be seeing will be coming from this flash. Now what else? My white balance is set at 5600 Kelvin because my white balance, the white balance of this flash is more or less, or the light coming from this flash is more or less 5600 Kelvin. I also have my focusing on AFC because I wanted to just continuously focus on the eye, which is something the Sony cameras are really fantastic in terms of doing. Now with all of that out of the way, it's time for me to call in my wife Coco, who will be my subject for today. Come on in, babe. And as you can see while Coco is coming in, ta-da, this is it. This is the $8 modifier coming from Ikea. Fantastic, right? It's basically their, what do you call this? Their Sheer curtains, but what particular model? I think it's a Teresa or a Teresia, and it cost 400 Philippine pesos or approximately $8. So very, very cheap. However, the thing with this particular modifier or this particular sheer curtain is that it doesn't really diffuse the light too much. So don't expect to get really soft light. If you want to get soft light, you get the thicker sheer curtains. However, we decided we wanted this one to create a beautiful pattern here in the background, right babe? And of course, 
we'd like to thank our friend Mela Jimenez for making for virtually assisting Coco put on her makeup for today. Okay, thank you very much, Mela. All right, so let me turn on my flash now. And what is my flash power? This particular light is set at group B, which is now set at one eighth power. And let's see, babe. All right, let's just go straight to shooting already, okay? Okay, babe, let's get into one pose. Now the key here, the problem is, is that we don't know where the light, well, I'll show you, look what's gonna happen. Okay, all right, babe, there. We don't know where the patterns of light will actually fall until we actually take that test shot. And from this particular test shot, we can see that Coco's a little bit off. Can you move slightly to your right? And I think I wanna create more pattern on this side. So I just have to move my curtains and see how this one will turn out. All right, babe, one more. Close your hand now, uh, closer to your face. And don't be afraid of the light. It's like, don't do that. It's just, just put that there like this one to cover your, there we go. Your hand's too far away. Can you still move slightly to the right? There, okay, cool. And I think I might be a bit, a tad bit overexposed. So let me bring it back to 118th power. Actually, or sorry, that was 116th power. All right, you don't even need to do that with your hand, actually. I think you could just move slightly to your right now and pretend that you're just looking towards the light. This, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. You don't have to look too high up, maybe just towards the... Fantastic. All right, one, two, three, go. But you're covering your your face with your hand. The shadows are coming from your hand to your face, which you don't want to do. So maybe you could just put your hand somewhere here if you want to, yeah. There, that's it. No, that's perfect, actually, exaggerate that way. All right, perfect. Maybe we could get rid of the hand now and just show them your beautiful face. Yeah, or yeah, maybe that way. But then your light's coming from here, so there's no point on why your hand's there. So uh, yeah, just do anything facing this camera, facing this light. Okay, then, yeah, go, all right. There, that's, that's beautiful. Tilt your head away, then move slightly forward. Uh, sorry, going here, all right, perfect. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to put her in between those two lines, there we go. I think, actually, I can bring up the light a bit more to have the shadow go down some more. Okay, let's try that. One, two, tilt your head away. Show more of your angle of your chin. Ah, oh, that'll, that'll, that'll actually work. The reason why this one will work is because I am shooting now at four by six, but basically I am cropping this for Instagram, which is four by five. So that part that you see on the top, well, number one, I can just crop that out. Let me show you. This part here, the one on top, I can just crop that out, or I can even stretch it out in post. But this one looks fantastic, okay, babe? That's perfect, slightly to your right a bit more. All right, that's it, okay. Go. It's okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. same, exaggerate your, your, there, okay. Chin up. You're off too much, slightly back, there, all right. So this is why I love shooting with continuous light instead of flash. With continuous light, it's easier for me to see then, that's perfect, there we go. I love that, I love that. Okay, so that where your head is, that's where it should be all the time. Now you could actually look at me straight. Just look at me straight, yeah. You don't have to do that. Maybe you could just do this, yeah. Okay, move here slightly. All right. Chin up a bit, yeah, there we go. Sky's the limit on everything that you want to do, and this modifier just costs $8. Thank you very much, babe. Again, we will probably play around a bit more to get that light perfect, but you get the general concept. The general concept was getting a sheer, uh, sheer curtain from IKEA, which costs again about $8, to create some very, very nice patterns on this relatively nice textured wall, which you could do in any textured wall in your home. And you could even modify this one to make it bigger, to make the light softer so that the shadows will even be softer. So it's really another way to modify the light. It's a creative modifier and it just costs $8.
So it's worth playing around with. And then if you want to really get softer light, then maybe you could get curtains or you could just put this two together on top of each other and make it a bit thicker and get a bit soft, uh, make the light a bit softer, okay? So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to the channel and like this video. And while you're subscribing to the channel, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.